What's up guys, it's Coded Red here, and welcome to episode 8 of the Advanced Spit Coding, and now it's for 1.16. So yeah, 1.16 came out uh, two days ago, and I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I've been uh, feeling a bit ill, but now that I'm back, a lot has changed. 1.16.1 for Spigot has came out, so that means this series is going to be a transition to 1.16 API. Now. It actually ended up at a perfect time because today's episode talking about interface classes and we're going to talk about how to make a plugin that uses that uses nms work in 1.15 1.16 1.12 1.8 whatever version you want even though it has version dependent imports we're going to learn how to make it work in all versions so the plugin that we're going to be doing is a tab plugin i don't have it on the server yet because this is my 1.16 server and I, we are yet to make the code work in 1.16, but it's the same as that code from last episode. So if you do want to have the same code as me, go ahead and watch the last episode. But is this code is going to work in no matter what NMS code you're using. It uses classes though, so make sure you, if you are wanting to use multiple NMS in your plugin, Make sure you have all the NMS for one version inside one class and another version inside another class. And I'll explain more as I go on. And you probably noticed I no longer have my shaders. Oh no, normal Minecraft, so ugly. Ugh. All right, let's get into the code. So this is the code from last time. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in real quick. This is our main class where we just, you know, on the enable, we just set what we want our tab to show, our header and our footer to show, and then we just, you know, run it. Our tab manager is just this class that we designed last time that handles our tab. And you notice, like I said, it uses NMS. It uses the version 1.15 R1 import. This import will only work in 1.15 R1, which is whatever, 0.2. So, like I said, it's only going to work in 1.15, so if I run this on my server, it will not work. So we need to make this class work with multiple versions. So to do this, let's go ahead and I'm going to create a new package to have all our stuff organized. So we're going to keep all our versions in this new package. And I'm going to name it versions. And inside this package, let's create another class. And I'm going to call it tab manager. Now, it's the same name as our other one, and it's because this one's gonna change, but right now this is our new tab manager class. And I <laughs> I always do that by accident, but it's not a class. Go ahead and copy class, delete it, and type in interface. This is gonna be an interface. So if you don't know what interfaces are, basically it's a file that holds all abstract methods. And what are abstract methods? It's something like this. So this is a method that's in our tab manager class. So if you go into our tab manager class, we have all these different methods. Show tab, and then we have add header, add footer. So these are methods that we are gonna make abstract. So when you make something abstract, you basically just type the method, what the method is, public void show tab. If you have something that has parameters in it, which we do, we have the add header and add footer. So what I can actually go ahead and do is just copy this, copy it, go to our tab manager, paste it, put a semicolon. And then it's gonna be the same thing, but we have the add header. So like I said, we're just creating some abstract methods. And basically what we wanna do is create all our public methods, the ones that we use in other classes, like in our main class, when we say, hey, add the header, add the footer, show the tab. These public methods we want to put into our interface class. Our interface class doesn't care what version your server is running. It's going to go ahead and select the method for whatever version your server is running. So we can have a tab manager for 1.12, 1.8, 1.9. Whatever version your server is running, it's going to use that method for that version. It's going to make a little more sense as we go on. But once you have the tab manager created right here, Let's go into our old tab manager and let's change the name of this. We're we'll changing the name to underscore 
one underscore 15 underscore R1. I'm just gonna copy whatever this import is right here. Once you have that change, you will need to change the constructor Oop. to 1.15 R1. And then you can just hover over this and then it will say, hey, you wanna change the name, rename the file. Cool. So now that we have the file renamed, let's go ahead and drag it into our versions package. Press OK. All right. So, so far what we did is we, we, we recreated our tab manager class with the, just an interface and it has our three methods in here. And we created this, we renamed this file to 1.15. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you have an NMS classes, make sure all the NMS is in one class. This is our NMS class. And then we rename it to 1.15. Next thing we want to do, let's go ahead and right click on our project, go to properties. I know you can't see it, but click on properties. If you're not right here, go to Java build path and then go up to the libraries tab because we're going to add in our other spigot jars. So right now I have that 1.15 and that's actually 1.15.2. Don't, don't be fooled by the name and let's go to my spigot. So I have a bunch of different versions here. Uh, we can, we can add, let's add 1.12. We'll add 1.12 to show you guys the differences in the old versions. And then we're also going to add that new one, the 1.16. All right, so once you have your spigot jar files in, wherever, you can add all the ones you want to, whatever version you want you know, the plugin to work for. Press apply and close, and then you're good to go. So now we need to copy this tab manager 1.15 class. So I'm going to copy this. Copy. And I'm going to paste it in here. And this is going to be R1.12. And I think 1.12 is R1. Not really sure. Let's try out and see. So in our 1.12 class now, this is all going to have 1.12 imports. So I'm going to delete all the 1.15 ones. And re-import it with 1.12, 1.12. 1.12 so now this class will only work on a 1.12 server now as you should be aware nms changes from version to version depending on you know certain things the difference in our code that we need to change is this header the header is going to be a and the footer is going to be b and then just like that the class should work perfectly fine that's the only big change in the nms a and B. All right, once that's changed, we can go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and paste another version of it. It's going to be R1 and it's going to be 1.16. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to delete our 1.15 imports and put in our 1.16 imports. 1.16, 1.16, 1.16. Now this is a pretty easy example because not much changes from one point, actually from any of the versions. Like I said, if you're, if you're coding this exact plugin, the tab plugin in versions 1.12 and below, it's all going to be A and B and in versions 1.13 above, it's going to be header and footer. I talked about this last time, but that's the only major change in the NMS. So what now we have our tab manager class that has our our three methods and we have our three different versions we want our plugin to work for 1.16 1.12 and 1.15 now it gets into the fun part <laughs> i think it's fun because i just love how it works so we go into our main class and you're going to see a bunch of different things here right, right under lines we can re-import this so i'm gonna press ctrl shift o and it's going to re-import it and it's going to become purple that's going to become purple if you're using the same colors as me, obviously, but it's becoming purple on mine is because that's my interface color. And when you have an interface, you do not need to do this. Remember I said this is really important. Well, it's not important for interface. We don't, we do not need to do this. So let's go ahead and delete that. So our tab needs to be registered. It's, it needs to know what version it's running. So the first thing I want to do is I always do this uh, public string S version s for server so server version and then let's go ahead and create that method this method that's going to grab the server version that we're running and make sure that we're running the right tab manager for it so to be a private boolean 
and I'm gonna call it setup manager. First thing we're gonna do is set S version equal to NA for not available. Because if we can't find it, it's NA, then you know they're probably running something weird. They're probably running sp Sponge and they don't know what's going on. So we, everything we want to do right here is just one line of code, super simple stuff. We're just going to put it in a try and catch and we're going to catch. You can just catch an exception E if you're lazy like me, but if you want to be you know, exact, you're catching an array index out of bounds exception E. And then we return false here. So what are we trying to catch? We're trying to catch, we're trying to check at least. We're trying to set s version equal to bucket dot get server. A little bit of lag in my ID, sorry. Get server dot get class dot get package dot get name dot split. And what are we splitting? We're splitting backslashes dot and then an array of three so what this is going to do is going to return something so if we're running oh sorry i should probably zoom in for you guys so you can see the whole thing what this line is going to do is return our version so say we're running a r 1.16 server it's going to return it's going to set s version equal to v 1.16 uh underscore r1 or actually this won't be a point this will be underscore it's going to set our s version of that so if we're running a 1.16 server it's going to say hey your s version equals this so that's what we need to do next we need to say hey what is our s version so if our s version dot equals v1 underscore 12 underscore r1 that means our tab equals a new tab manager underscore one underscore 12 underscore r1 this let's go ahead and import that and let's see yeah and then let's go ahead and type in return tab does not equal null oh i messed up something okay it's gonna be red because i messed up go back into your other classes so in all these classes, <laughs> this is actually really important. We're going to need to implement, I'm pretty sure, we're going to need to implement the tab manager. We need to implement the tab manager. Sorry, I'm really stupid. So in all the classes we have our NMS, we need to implement tab manager. This is really important because whatever methods you have in your tab manager are required in the ones you implement. So say I spelled tab wrong, show ab, you're gonna get this little red underline saying, hey, you need to add show tab. You're missing the show tab one. So the methods in the tab manager, this class are required if you implement it. So let's go, we'll go to a little check, but we're gonna add this add, we're gonna add this uh, implements tab manager to all our NMS ones. All right, 1.15. There we go. So all our NMS classes are implement tab manager. And now we go to our main class and we see the red underlines gone. Let's copy, paste this two more times. And I'm going to make this some else ifs. So why not? And we'll change 1.12 to 15 and this to 16. Same thing, 15, 16. Go ahead and import those. Up at the top, we type in, uh, we can make this a check. So we'll say, we'll say this, we'll say if set up manager. So if that's no, if that's a uh, false, if set manager is false, let's go ahead and return. Cause we don't want to do anything. We want to say bucket dot get plugin manager, plugin manager dot disable plugin. We're disabling this plugin and we could say a little message in here. We can say something like, I don't know, get logger dot severe fail to set up tab plus um, running 
non compatible. Spell that wrong. Compat Ible version. There we go. So if you missed it right here, return tab does not equal null. So we're just re returning true or false, depending if it equals null. I mean, that's kind of pointless because it's going to equal NA. Oh, I mean, no, no, I mean, never mind. Tab is good. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we just want to say if it equals null, equals false, that means they're not running a version that we have. We only support 1.12, 1.15, and 1.16. So let's go ahead and disable our plugin. Now with our new code, we don't we do not need to do anything to the plugin.yml. We can keep it the same. Let's go ahead and run it on the server and see if it works in 1.16. All right, now on the server, if I press tab, and there we go, we got our beautiful tab display showing. Look at that. And this is 1.16. You can see at the little top right here, Minecraft 1.16. And we have our tab working. Something like I said, this tab will work in 1.16, 1.15, 1.12. It works whatever version you guys want it to work in. I hope you guys did understand what I went through. It's really simple stuff, really. I mean, as long as you throw all your NMS imports into one class or whatever, you can have multiple classes and have multiple interfaces. As long as you have it in some place where only that version can reach it, then you're fine. Because 1.16 is never ever going to see this 1.12 import which is really important because we talked about this before using imports that are null like say you are trying to access a poppy import but the server doesn't have poppy you have to make sure you're accessing real imports so 1.16 is never ever going to see this class because it's going to see this class instead i hope you guys did enjoy this episode I did learn everything right here from Clip. Clip's an awesome developer. No, developer. <laughs> he has a tutorial on Spigot of how to use interface classes. I will link it in the description below if you need some more additional help. But feel free to join the Discord if you do have more questions. This has been a Coded Red tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.